Welcome back to Matrix Sessions Tips and Tricks along with BPM Supreme. So as my last video, I was talking about the dry wet situation here, which if you play with again, you can have different motions on how the pump is occurring. So for those of you that don't know what we're doing here, let me just uh, take this back real quick. Let's go ahead and solo this remix that I did here. All right, so basically what I'm doing is I grab the compressor, you open up this little drop down here, you, you see sidechain. When you enable sidechain, you look for the source that you're gonna be compressing to. So in this case, it's the main kick 808. Once you slam that in, you start adjusting the threshold and you start to get a pump. And so basically, the meaning of this is the kick comes through your mix a bit more better, but it also creates the, what I call the pigeon effect. Uh, when you see a bird walking on the street, he's going, <laughs> up down up down up down with his head and that's exactly what we do in the dance floor so uh let's go ahead and talk about this here so i go back to this point here uh i have very very simple settings nothing crazy uh and basically with my dry wet here <clears throat> we can do something like this so from section 37 to 39 we have it at 100 percent. now keep in mind i'm doing this because the track is mastered with instruments so I don't have the acapella, so I had to do my best to really cut things up and really, really spice it up in a way where uh, it could be more beneficial for me, in a way where I can play it and I know others will play it. So I'll show you here. So let's talk about this, and then the compressor goes like this. So as you can see, my gain reduction, which is right here, GR, uh, when you see that light coming in, it's because it's taking effect. And it's giving, it's showing you kind of like how much, you know, compression is occurring. So I don't got nothing too crazy there. Just a little pump out the way. And then on this section from bar 39 to 41, I have it at 64%. So you can see this little red dot here. So anytime you see that, it's because you're automating something. Um, so Ableton is understanding, hey, I'm over here. You're moving me around. Okay, cool. So I have that at 64. So let's hear this back real quick. Here's off, so you can hear the whole thing off. Cool, nice and simple. So again, I have this on because I have a really, really big kick on it. My kick comes in. So let's introduce the compressor now with the settings. Now let's introduce my fully treated 808 here. Let's hear that together. So as you can hear, I have it mostly on this section here from bar 37 to 39. Um, there's, there's a couple of like instruments in there that I kind of, I'm pumping out the way for my kick to come through. But as the vocal starts to reveal itself from bar 39 to 41, I ease up on the compressor to give me a bit more smoother transition. So having this adjusted this way, um, it's cool cause I can let some of the instrumentation come out. So I don't really have to put too much on my own. Right. So also on this section here, I actually cut up a section of the vocal and I put it on a simpler. So this is something I really, really like to do. And this is something I talk to all my students about where you can get really creative if you spend a little time just kind of chopping things up. So in this case, I felt like it was a bit empty. So I just did something very simple, C to C sharp, C to C sharp. And then on this section, I just literally highlight the whole keys and I went up an octave. So Let's hear this real quick. This is also giving me some sort of vibration in the mix. So now let's hear that with the 808. Let's hear it with the actual chops of the actual track. So I can hear, you can definitely hear this cool little like environment 
in the back end just to just to give it a little bit more flavor. And again, guys, I'm going to be talking about a lot of these cool things. You know, I'm taking master tracks. OK, so I want that to sink in real quick because master tracks going into my mastering chain. It's a no, no. But again, there's ways to go around it where you, you bring your instrumentations to life. Pretty much the mastering chain is bringing up all the other instruments I'm bringing in up to par with the actual track itself. So we'll be getting into that as well in the next segments. But today's tips was really playing with this dry wet compressor here, which is super, super cool. You can get a lot of different pumps, a lot of different friction, a lot of movement, a lot of swing, playing with dry wet and also playing with the threshold here. This is Brian Matrix, owner and founder of Matrix Sessions, and I'll see you next time.